Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to transfer files to your Galaxy S2 over a wireless network. Um, this is very easy way to transfer files between your device and your computer. Uh, you don't have to hook your device with a USB cable every time when you want to transfer something to your device uh, or get something out of the device. Um, also, this would be very handy when you don't have your USB cable with you and uh, still want to transfer something to the device. There are two scenarios, uh, device and the computer are in the same wireless network uh, as you can see in the diagram. Or if you don't have an existing wireless network, uh, you could enable wireless hotspot feature in your device and connect the PCs to the wireless network as shown in the diagram. Uh, Galaxy S2 comes with this uh, very very useful wireless hotspot feature. I think uh, if I am not wrong, you could connect up to three computers to the wireless hotspot in the device. In either case, uh, you are going to install SSH server in your device and uh, connect to the server with any SSH uh, client like uh, uh, free in SCP, PuTTY or any SFTP client. So all the data transfers will be done through an encrypted channel so it's very secure and uh, very safe so all right uh, let's jump right in and see how this can be done all right guys uh, here i have my samsung galaxy s2 so i'm gonna go to play store and uh, i'll search for ssh droid um, i'll click and uh, select and install it accept download and this will download the SSH droid uh, server to your computer. Uh, sorry, to the phone. And you can open it. Uh, this requires super user access, so your phone has to be rooted. You can refer to my routing video uh, by clicking the uh, clicking the link on the screen uh, you can jump into the routing video and if you, if you haven't rooted your phone you can follow the tutorial and get it rooted uh, i'm gonna click allow okay um, i got into this screen click okay then uh, for the first time it will take some time to uh, load the server uh, and once the server is started uh, you could see the IP address of your device and the status of the server. You can stop the server by uh, going, going into the menu and if you go into the options and you can set up a password for the connection default port is 22 and uh, you can change the password default part password is admin and i'm going to leave that for the moment mm, then it's ready now oh it's stopped uh, as you can see uh, then you can start it again all right guys uh, now we can go into our pc and uh, remember that pc also has to connect to the same wireless network uh, that phone is connected to or PC has to connect it to the phone's wireless hotspot. In my case, uh, phone is connected to the same wireless router. Uh, um, let me show you my IP address. So, I mean, uh, my IP address is 192.168.0.3. If you can remember, our phone uh, SSH uh, server's IP address was 192.168.0.4. So, we are in the same wireless router. For Windows users, uh, we have to download SSH client software to your PC. There are plenty of uh, free uh, SSH clients available uh, you to download, um, like uh, FileZilla, PuTTY, WinSCP. Depending on on your choice, you can download one of them. Uh, I have post posted a uh, few links below the video so you can download one one SSH uh, client from there. I have already downloaded PuTTY and uh, FileZilla. Uh, to my computer and it's installed so let me try putty uh, just have to put the IP address of SSH server 0 0.4 and you connect it it will ask for a username we'll put root password is admin right we are successfully logged into our phone 
so we can browse the directory structure of the font you can do ls you can go to the root folder to ls it will list down all the folders and files in the phone as you can see we um, there are few folders mm, this is Linux directory structure because uh, uh, Android is Linux mm. so we can go to SD card to ls and as you, you can go to external XD card to ls if you want to view something you can uh, for simple files like text files we can do it uh, do it uh, from here I'm going to edit CGI and do, you can edit it if you want and save it S likewise you can do it uh, you can browse the file system and do mo some modifications to your system uh, uh, through putty but if you want a graphical user interface, uh, you can use either FileZilla or WinSCP. Let me exit from here. And, uh, let me open up FileZilla. And uh, once you install FileZilla uh, and open it, then go to File, Site Manager, and create a new site. To 0 0.4. And uh, remember to select the protocol to SFTP. And... Uh, username root password is admin all right uh, you have successfully logged into your phone and you can see the directory structure of phone this side and your PC directory structure at this side so it's very easy to uh, transfer file in between um, phone and the PC you just have to drag and drop let's see let me go to root directory and uh, our SD card and external SD card I'm gonna transfer this uh, this file to my uh, phone so just have to drag and drop this side so you can see the transfer progress in here so it's very easy to transfer between uh, transfer files between your phone and your PC if you want to cancel it you can cancel it so if you're using Linux, it's very easy. You don't have to download any extra programs to your system. You can uh, connect to the device uh, using terminal and file manager. Let me show you how to do it. Uh, let me open up a terminal window. And uh, let me show you my IP address. And uh, uh, my IP address is 192.168.0.5. I'm connected to the wireless network that, uh, same wireless network that phone is connected to. So I can ping the phone. Uh, so I can. Uh, I am getting the responses. That is. That means phone is also connected. So what I have to do is uh, just give following command. So this will connect. Click yes, and it will ask for a password. I'm going to give it admin. And uh, now we have successfully connected to the phone. Uh, let me zoom a bit. So we can go to phone's root directory and uh, list all the directories under root. Mm. Uh, we can go to SD card. It's uh, pretty much similar to uh, what we did it in Windows. Uh, same thing we can achieve without installing anything else using Linux terminal and if you want the graphical user interface uh, that also possible just open up uh, file manager uh, file manager and click uh, control L for the location uh, and uh, you can type sftp colon double slash uh, root at so this will load uh, logging into uh, this will logging into the phone uh, normally it will ask for a password I have previously logged into the phone that's why I didn't ask so here you can see the phone's file uh, directory structure so so if you want to transfer something you just have to um, uh, copy it uh, let me open another window this is my home folder this is my home folder and uh, 
this is my home folder let let uh, let's see uh, what's inside uh, let, uh, let's go to documents and uh, let's say if i want to uh, let's say if i want to transfer this file to your sd card um, external sd card you click the phone sd card and you just drag and drop it here so it will simply copy to your device so it's pretty much easy in linux um, that's pretty much wraps it up and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you don't, don't if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and uh, if you like to receive notification whenever i post a new video just hit the subscribe button and uh, see you soon in a